Hi guys, we're going to be doing a fishing supplies tour. Uh, it's basically all of my fishing rods, except for two. Because everybody knows what they are, really. It's just a basic Zebco 33. We're going to be looking through my tackle box right here. That's my first tackle box. We're going to be looking through my on-the-go, basically, like, catfish tackle box and my spinnerbait box. Well, let's get started. Well, first of all, here's my fishing rods. Right now, I do have one in the tackle box, which is my backup reel in case uh, one of mine breaks. I have a 73 Abu Garcia reel right here uh, with the original um, Bass Pro Shops first, uh, one of their first rods, uh, yeah. It's a really nice reel. It has 15 pound monofilament on it. And it has just a little brim hook to keep me on there so the line won't go through. Second of all, we have, this is my newest rod of all, a, a brand spanking new Abu Garcia reel, 7.11 gear ratio. It's the Abu Garcia Pro Max right here on a Zebco Rhino glow tip rod with a messed up spinner bait that I use as my training bait really. Well, that's basically all for my rods that you can really see. I have two, and rods and reels I mean. I have two more reels in here, but let's get started on the tackle box. First of all, we have a uh, catfish sponge dip baits right here. And I use those basically when I'm down at the pond. I do a couple videos with them. Have the blue and white grub at, um, that I got from Walmart for I think 98 cents. I do have these um, frogs right here. I'm starting to run out. So if you want to um, basically maybe ship some to me. Just kidding. I won't give you my address. Uh, I do have these other grubs right here. Um, I use basically for some of my mm, jig heads. And then I have all of my crappie supplies right here in these two boxes. And a couple hooks and stuff. This is probably going to be my favorite. I have caught a good bit of crappie on this one right here. They kind of think it's like a worm, I guess. And I have this um, swim bait, a replica of a bluegill right here. Um, I haven't caught a fish on it yet, but I really plan on to and I really do want to. This is my rattle trap selection. I have one in the other tackle box we're going to be getting to. I have this gold one right here. Uh, I have this blue and white one I got from Bass Pro Shops for $2.00. Right here. I've caught some fish on that one. I have these right here. I have one of these on one of my jig heads. And so far that's it for the first row. It does open up to a three tray tackle box. I have this one that I actually got from my granddad. Uh, this little crankbait. I have this one I got from my uncle. And this other yep, green and yellow one right here. Is I got that from my granddad too. I, I got this one from my uncle, and it's one of the best uh, lures I have. It's caught some good sized fish. Second of all, I have this uh, $2 hula popper from Bass Pro right here. And that's it. I do have this one right here. This basically, this thing is really good for bigger bass. I think it's a really big minnow. And I actually got this one for, I think, a dollar at this place called Mike's Merchandise in Pelham, Alabama. They have really good fishing stuff there. And if you want to buy, like, some cheap rods that are still name brand, like Zebco and other things, and then you can get off-brand ones, too. But it's really good. Go check it out. This is the lure I told you about. I had this one on right here. This is the lure I have one of those on. This black and blue, $1 Walmart uh, jig head. This one was actually my grandfather's. He passed away though, and he left uh, my his tackle box for me, and I got this out of it. 
and it's supposed to be a really good lure. A lot of people have said. I'll have to see it in the water to believe it. I have this one right here that was given to me by gr my granddad right here. Uh, it has the frogs that I shown you earlier. Let me set that to the side. I do have this one, which is handmade for me from uh, my uncle. He made this. He got, I guess, a Bass Pro um, couple of jig things like this right here, and got a a jig head. And then I have this grub right here that I said I use for jig heads a pretty good bit. And I'll have to put this one back up. Third, we have a, a good bit of swim baits. There, this is just a couple of my better ones I'll uh, keep on the top, like this one right here. And I have this swim bait right here, too. I also have this. I actually found it when I was looking through some boats somewhere in an undescribed location. I cannot tell you because it's my hot spot to get some lures. I got this one at Walmart right here. This is one of my two lures. Uh, it goes along with the red one, but this one's a little bit newer. Next, we'll get into plastic and soft baits. Let me put those out. See, we have some lizards. We have some worms. We have a pretty good bit of lizards, but most of all, we have a lot of worms. I will be getting to the packages and stuff in the video in a minute. We have this one right here next. It's lizards, all these lizards right here. We have this really big one I have a package of. I have this uh, little lizard I got from my tackle box and my dad's. I have this one right here. And then here's a, got to some of my lizards. This is a swim bait that I keep down there. Uh, or actually, we get, we're getting to our worms. I'm sorry. Here's that worm I found when I was looking through. Oh, most of these are actually from the boats. I do have a couple of them that I got from packages. And here's these. A lot of these I did get from boats. I actually bought this one uh, at a gas station by Logan Martin. And then here's more. We have a couple swim baits in here, I think. Lay those out. Let me get these two. Okay. We have this one, which I actually found, and my granddad told me it was handmade, I guess. And I think it is pretty sure. It looks pretty handmade. We have this one I got from a boat. This one from a package. This one from a boat. I got this um, Sanko right here. I got this lizard. Got a culprit grape worm. Uh, this, these two, a couple right here. These right here. These are from a package. I have uh, another Sanko right here. Uh, this one I actually got from Mike's Merchandise too. I have a package of them. Right there, they smell really funky. They kind of smell like watermelon. And that's that for the worms that are unhooked. Next, we have a couple of our worms that we have that are hooked right here. We have that one. We have a culprit grape worm that's hooked. We have this lizard Texas rigged. We have this swim bait right here that I bought in the package. That was actually hooked. I have two of them right here that's side by side. And I have this one right here that I bought from a package like that. Uh, basically, I have a spinnerbait, um, a rooster tail spinnerbait. And I have this frog right here. It's not really squishy like uh, well-known frogs are. But it, the spinnerbait I actually found at Logan Martin. I have one-eighth of an ounce hooks and one-fourth of an ounce hooks. Right here, I have these um, hooks right here. Basically, all of these 
uh, I have these bank sinkers, a couple of them, and I have some uh, crappie hooks and some weights. Next is my swivels right here. Then I have my hula popper right here. This is another one of my hula poppers. And this one's actually, I think, name brand other than the Bass Pro Shops brand I have. Then we have a couple more uh, Texas rigs. These two I'm about to show you were handmade from my uncle. I got some for my birthday. Next one is this one was handmade too. I'm pretty sure. And I have this white one right here that was handmade. And then here, now we're at the bottom row right here where a lot of my packages and stuff and hooks are. Here, I'm going to go ahead and get these reels through. I have this Bash Pro Shops reel right here, Baitcaster. I think I got it, my uncle got it for 50, or my granddad, I'm sorry, for $50. Next, I have this Abu Garcia reel right here. It's the same model as the silver one over there, but that one's a little bit older and rustier looking. I have this live catfish ultra concentrated formula bait uh, fish extract. Then I have these owner hooks I got from Crazy Caz Boys in Homewood. I have this 13 fishing I got from Caz Boys, uh, Crazy Caz Boys from Homewood. Uh, they're supposed to be really good for brim and other things. Then I have these plastics. I think they're off brand. Think I think so. And a uh, watermelon uh, flavored flutter tail. Next, I have basically, I think, almost the same ones, except these are a different color. Then I also got these from Crazy Caz Boys, these finesse worms for $2. There's 20 of them in a package. Then I have these right here. They're really juicy, so I don't take them all out a lot. It's really dirty, though. And finesse worms. I have these lizards right here uh, I got from my granddad. Um, rooster tail. No, not a rooster tail. Let me see. Creepy crawler tail. Green pumpkin zoom right here. I have these creepy crawler tail um, root beer pepper uh, grain right here. I keep a pure all hand wipes just in case I just handled a fish and my hands are like super slimy. Um, if I have like nice clothes on, if I'm like out with my parents or something. I only have a couple of these left, but I have some four inch mini lizard sartreuse pepper right here. I have this 15 pound trilene monofilament aligned. Then I have the culprit grape worms right here. Uh, this is actually, I got this given to me by a friend. It's a fishing lure um, keychain. I got my pliers I found at Logan Martin. They're pretty good. Uh, got a bobber. Got this cat hog wild catfish dip bait. I uh, have this pop figure I keep in there with a Rapala that actually broke. And then I have this one that's a backup lure in case some, well, something on it broke, breaks. Like say the deep diver thing right here, it breaks. Then that's basically it for the first tackle box. Let me put everything back here. And hold on guys. While I'm at it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my videos. I know I have some really crazy ones. I've just trying to, been trying to keep all the people that actually did like a couple of my videos. Um, basically, keep it on my channel. Uh, a lot of my money that I that goes to me, it will probably either go to you guys, charities, or maybe me for um, buying other fishing stuff so I can support more videos. If you want more content like this, fishing videos, I'm planning on trying to do a $5 Walmart fishing challenge. I will do that for you guys. If I hit 20 subscribers, no, actually 10 subscribers, I will do a $5 Walmart fishing challenge. 
catfish version where I have to fish with Slim Jims. Um, let's see what else. Comment what you guys think I should fish with, and I'll find it. It has to be under five dollars. Here we go. Let's try to fix this. It doesn't seem to want to work. Next is our small on the go catfish right here. Catfish box. Some of it is bass. Some of it is crappie. I just keep it really. So I have the green uh bluegill right here. I have this crawdad. I have some hooks and weight. I have this green and white um super spot um cardell lure. I have a couple crappie things. I have this worm, this white and blue grub that I showed you earlier, and a couple lizards. And then I basically just have that underneath it, nothing really. I may put a couple soft plastics. Next is the spinnerbaits. If you're getting bored, I really don't care. If you just like this video, I will. next time I promise I'll make it shorter. This is my first couple of times. And I haven't really got used to the hang of it because I'm just trying to really do stuff for you guys and trying to catch up on videos and all that. And then we have this right here. Our sh we actually have a $1 Walmart spinnerbait. And then we have a... Sorry if I'm setting you down so much. Uh, we have the noise-making spinnerbait. Uh, it has been working really good for me. I actually had to get my pliers out on it and straighten it up a little bit because it's been so old. Then I have this white spinnerbait right here. Uh, I think a Walmart spinnerbait. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then I have this one right here. That's it. Bye, guys. Next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There we go.